we uh, got a big game because we uh, we didn't take care of business at Auburn. Auburn outplayed us significantly. We uh, we're still in first place, but you know we don't we don't have any margin for error at this point. So this uh, this game on the road has become big. You know, if we're going to stay in the race to try to win this thing, we we got to go on the road and get some tough wins. And LSU's, you know, markedly improved team. Shoot, they're uh, they're playing well. They're not really afraid of playing, you know, decent teams. They they played a number of top twenty-five teams. You know, they beat Ole Miss when they were ranked in the top twenty-five. They're three and one in the SEC at home, so they're playing well at home. And we've got our work cut out for us. But you know, the good thing with basketball is. Two days ago we lost, and tomorrow we get to play right away again. So we've had a good couple of days of practice. You know, I, we've got to have better defensive game. Our defense was dreadful at uh, Auburn. It's been that way a little bit for us this year, where it's been much too inconsistent. But hopefully, our guys kind of with their backs against the wall now to try to win the league will come through a lot more consistently on the defensive end. I thought we've had a really good couple of days of practice since that Auburn game. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned multiple times after the game and even today just the need for guys to play harder. How do you get that 24 games into the season? I mean, it's – you either want to win or you don't. If you want to win, you play hard, you give max effort on D. If other stuff motivates you, you're not going to play hard. So uh, we've seen it enough where we don't play hard and don't give ourselves a chance to win. We've also seen it when we play hard that we're one of the best teams in the country. You know, when we turned up our defense against Georgia in the second half, you see what we're capable of. When you play defense like we did against Mississippi State at home, you see what we're capable of. So, you know, it, it, if there's not a whole lot of motivating as a coach you can do, there's a whole lot of self-reflection, I think, as a player. Like, how bad do I want to win? You know, what do I want to be known for? Am I a competitor? Am I a winner? Or... Am I just a really talented basketball player? So we'll see here for the last month where, where our guys are at. You mentioned wanting to see the defense be more consistent. Like, is that just an effort issue that needs to improve on that, or are there other things happening? I mean, part of it's effort. Part of I mean, we talked about as a team. Part of it's you got to play hard. Part of it's attention to detail, like following scouting report. You know, when I think we looked at all 248 of Jani Broom's field goals, and I think five of them were. Scored with his right hand. Need to learn how to take away guys' tendencies. You know, a guy's all right hand, and you give him his right hand. Uh, you know, I don't know how locked in we are. So some of it's effort for sure. Some of it's attention to detail on a scouting report. Some of it's guys just have to learn how to, like, in the moment, figure out how to get a stop. I mean, some stuff break down, breaks down, and there's got to be a sense of urgency. Like we have to get stop here, no, no matter what. Like teammate gets beat, come over and take a charge, come over and block a shot. You know, like just some of it's rebounding. Your defense can't be any good if you don't finish the possession with a rebound. That's where. So in, in different guys, it's different things. To be honest with you, so as a collective whole, there's a few different areas we we, we got to really fix. But that, that's the general gist of it all. Yeah, against Auburn, uh, Milwaukee, uh, he had three fouls, but he only got two minutes. What kind of went into that decision? How do you want to handle minutes for bigs going forward? Yeah, I mean, we look at lineup analysis, and he's not in any of the top lineup analysis because he fouls too much and turns the ball over too much for a big. So we've repeatedly told him he's got to stop fouling. Fouling negates all your hustle. I mean, he plays hard. It, like, that's where, like, you know, the question is, is it all effort? With him, it's not effort. Like, there's never a question of whether he's going to play hard or not. With him, it's attention to detail, do do without fouling. It, like, you can't put a team to the free throw line 50 times and expect to win. So, like, some of our guys, just three fouls in less than two minutes, like, you have to stop fouling. You mentioned there's only so much that you can preach, but you have a lot of seniors on this team. How have you seen them kind of step up, and have you seen them kind of provide the leadership that you're expecting from an upperclassman or a senior? They're getting a little bit more vocal as it gets closer to the end and they see the end nearing and, like, we're running out of time to fix this. So, you know, they 
I'm trying to get them to talk more, me ask more questions instead of make statements, get their opinion, get what's wrong here, what do we got to do to fix it, why, what, like, we've had some guys, I thought after the game, we had a decent amount of guys speak up in the locker room at Auburn. The next day in film, we had a decent amount of guys speak up. And I thought, you know, typically the day after we don't go live, we chose to go live last night and practice. You know, we kind of split the evening going to morning. We went live at night and we went live again this morning. I thought they were both pretty good. When you're playing a team for the second time, is there a more emphasis on what you did before that worked or didn't work or more t on what they did? Or does it depend? I same? mean, it kind of depends. With the, with the games when they're so close, you know, there's only a couple games in between. You look heavily at your game, see what you have to make improvements on. So, you know, with the LSU game, we played pretty well in the second half. But, I, you know, it was it was a close game for a large part of the game. So we, we got to remind our guys that, this is a team that's three and one at home. They are going to play better at home. You know, Mike Williams has been scorching hot from three. Their team's averaging ten made threes a game over the last six games. So they're 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 playing better. You know, and I, this would be the third time we played a team twice. So the question is, who makes the biggest jump in improvement from game one to game two? And in the Mississippi State case, we did. In the Auburn case, they did. So. You know, we're kind of one-on-one -on, -one on that regard as to who's making a bigger improvement from game one to game two. All right. Thanks, guys.